Today we're going to be showing about the postulate that if two lines and a transversal form a congruent corresponding angles, then the lines are, are parallel. You notice here we have two pairs of congruent angles. Likewise, I could make here three and four would be congruent angles, but they'd be corresponding angles. I'm going to use this postulate to cover several of uh, new theorems that are based on now if we prove that if we have angles that are congruent, then we can prove that lines are congruent, which is opposite of what we had done before where we were saying we had parallel lines and then we knew that angles were congruent. So our first, first step is here is to look at this one. Here's a theorem. If two lines and a transversal form congruent alternate in interior angles, one and two, then the lines are parallel. So we're going to prove this, and we're going to see, I'm sorry, we're going to prove here that L and M are parallel. One and two, as you can see. And then I'm going to step through these a little bit quicker than normal. But So we know that two and three are vertical angles. So now I know these two right here are congruent because they're vertical angles. And from that, that establishes that one and two are can be congruent angles, okay? Because we're already given one and two are congruent. Now we know one and three are congruent. And that goes right back to this postulate now that we have corresponding angles and therefore these two lines are parallel. So let's go to the next one. In this case, we have two lines in a transversal form alternate exterior angles, here we go, alternate exterior angles 1 and 2, which are congruent, which it says right here, they're congruent, then the lines are parallel. Again, I use the same, uh, the, the same strategy of two and, th uh, 2 and 3 are vertical angles, therefore they're congruent. So if these two right here are already congruent, then they're, and these two are congruent, then therefore by substitution or transitive, these two right here congruent, and then I go fall back to that same postulate that I did before. If I have corresponding angles that are congruent, then the lines are parallel. Now to the next one. Here we have two lines in a transversal form, consecutive interior angles that are supplementary, all right, which means that they equal to 180 degrees. And you notice that I drew the sketch here of two lines and the transversal and the angles. The first thing is we know that we've already been given that 1 and 2 are equal to 180 degrees. We also know that uh, 3 and 1 equal to 180 degrees, correct? And we, from that, we can then use by substitution, as you can see here, if both of these equal to 180 degrees, then we can drop out angle 1 in both cases, and therefore angle three, uh, 3 and 2 are congruent. And if 3 and 2 are congruent, then we know, again, by this statement here, that these lines are parallel because the corresponding angles, if corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. And then we go to our next situation. Here we have two lines in a transversal form, consecutive exterior angles, exterior angles, one and two. We use the same philosophy here. We have angle one and angle two are given as equal to 180 degrees. We know that one and three equals 180 degrees, and therefore when you equal these together and then you subtract out one from each side, then you know that, that angle uh, that angle 2 and angle 3 are congruent and they are corresponding angles and therefore again if using corresponding uh, if corresponding angles are congruent then the lines are parallel and next here we have a situation if in a plane you have two lines are parallel to a third line and the two lines are parallel to each other so we, we're given that L and M are parallel and M and N are parallel, and that's the transversal. And we know that from given this right here, this is what was given, we know that 1 and 2 are going to be congruent because they are corresponding lines. They're corresponding angles of parallel lines, and so they're going to be, uh, they're going to be congruent. And we also know 2 and 3 
two and three. If these two lines, since these lines, these two lines are parallel, we know these two angles are congruent. And then by using transitive factor, we know that one and three, because all we got to do is we have two here, we substitute that out, so we end up with angle one and three, angle one and angle three. And if those are congruent, based on we've already learned that before, then therefore these lines are parallel because of, again, the same posture that we've been doing at the beginning is that if corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. Okay, and one more. In a plane, if two lines are perpendicular to the same line, then the two lines are parallel. Okay, we get two perpendicular angles, all right? And we know from that given they're perpendicular, we know that then angle one and angle two, both being equal to 90 degrees, all right, we know that they're equal. And we also know if you add them together, they're equal to 180 degrees. And from that right there, we know that from, from this right here, we know that these lines are parallel because the consecutive interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. And that concludes the discussion about using the postulate that we did at the very beginning of using corresponding angles throughout the case to being able to form a par uh, parallel lines. Thank you.